Welcome back everybody, this is Chad with Iraq Veteran 8888, and today we're out of the range. We're having a little bit of fun with a couple of our sleeper guns from our recent top five video. These are the Smith & Wesson 422 and the 622s. Let's have a little bit of fun with these things, and uh, we'll talk about them a little bit and tell you guys all about them. Get over. That one doesn't want to fall over. Of course, turn the cameras on and you start having malfunctions. That's how it works, right? There we go. What ammo are you wanting to run here, man? We're on the CCI for right now. The subs? Yeah. Okay. Man, those big poppers, they just don't want to get out of here. All right, let's see. Take out a few sodas back there. <laughs> it never gets old shooting sodas with 22s. Trying to shoot kind of the top off. One thing though, man, this thing does shoot really, really stupid high. Even without the can. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we'll try some of this other random ammo here in a minute. Eric's going to stuff some mags. Yeah, this is a 40 grain Aguila subsonic solid point that we're running here. I'm the resident mag fairy today. <laughs> Water the lawn, boys. Even the lawn has diabetes. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Here you go. All right, so these are the um, these are sort of old, older, I should say, Smith and Wesson 22 handguns, and uh, these were introduced back in eh, mid to late 80s, and then they were discontinued like mid 90s, around 95, 96. But uh, they're a very interesting handgun in that it has kind of an eccentric bore. So you have the slide that rides up top here. You got your sights up top, but then the barrel is down inside the frame, real low. So the felt recoil with the 22 obviously is really nothing to begin with anyways on the 22 handgun, but this makes that felt recoil even less because it does recoil right back into your hand. And uh, what's really interesting about these guns, and a lot of guys even back in the day, they would make their own adapters for them because they use a basically a little barrel bushing to hold the barrel in place and everything. but you can run suppressors on here without having to change your sights and all that mess. You can even run full-size handgun cans on this and the sights are still clear in the can just fine. It just makes for a nice handy um, little package for a range pistol or whatever the case is. And on this one, I'm actually running one of the newer Liberty Vector suppressors. Um, Liberty is a company that's based here in Georgia. Um, and I've got a lot of their monocore suppressors and this one actually is a little bit different for them. This is actually a stack baffle can. Has some pretty interesting features. Um, it's full auto rated, 22, 22 mag, the whole nine yards. But uh, comes with a modular section. You can use a socket wrench to take it apart, the whole nine yards. And it's fairly quiet. It's got a nice tone. It's not what I would call like a super high performance can, but it's also like a sub $300 can too. So it's a nice entry level type 22 can. But um, just a nice fit for this thing in the short configuration. And uh, I just love it. And this is a gun that I picked up for like 200 bucks with three magazines. When I say like a cheap 22, I mean, it's hard to beat it. You can't even buy a uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Compact, which actually are probably, mine and Eric both, I'd say are probably our favorite 22 hosts. These are more um, accurate. These are definitely a little bit more accurate with the right ammunition. We've got a pile here. I'm going to try out a few different things. But um, Eric's gun here that we showed off in the video as well is a Smith & Wesson 622. The 6 Series doesn't have anything to do with the barrel length from what I understand. It's mainly a stainless and aluminum gun as opposed to a carbon steel and blued, you know, and, and black anodized gun. This is a aluminum frame on both of these, except you just have a carbon steel frame up top that's blued, and mine's got a little bit of rust on it, but this is actually a little bit more desirable gun with the stainless slide and everything. Very easy to maintain, very easy to take apart. Um, I'll show that on camera in just a little bit once we need to pull these things apart to clean them. But this one actually has the same adapter. I think it's an EKW uh, thread adapter. 
and it uses just a quarter inch hex wrench just to tighten it in place. And uh, one interesting thing of note is <laughs> Eric's point of impact shift is like six inches to the left. <laughs> My point of in impact shift is like six inches high. And it doesn't matter what can I put on it, it's still just high and his is still left. But there's like a six inch deviation. I know, it's yeah. crazy, but it, it's really, really weird. But they even made some of these guns, I can't remember the model, it's like a 2022 or something, but it's a little like two inch model of this gun. I mean, like literally the barrel's like that long. It's so neat. I've been trying to find one just to kind of add it to the collection, but very, very interesting guns, mostly 10 round mags. They did make some 12 round mags. I do have one 12 rounder right here, um, but just neat little handguns. And like I said, they were discontinued uh, back in the, the mid nineties and everything. And they were kind of brought out to kind of compete with all the other auto loading 22 target pistols that were on the market um, back in the day. And you know, the Ruger's always kind of the king of the hill, the Mark 1s, 2s, 3s, and now the Mark 4s, um, Browning Buck Marks, all that. But we're gonna have a little bit more fun. And you said these are, Let's see, Those that, are the 40 grain uh, subsonic Aguila. Okay, that is, that is, that That's looks all like. the same ammo. You sure that is? That looks like CCI standard. We'll try it, let's see. Try it. All right. Fun. I'm gonna Did try to. that one? Yeah. I'll What'd try to shoot a with? group over here. Uh, Aguila. Okay. okay, it's all Aguila. Okay. Aguila. Aguila. All right, let's see. I'm gonna shoot that D28 over here on the. Uh, right, and I'm just gonna bullseye the bottom of the target. It's stupid how accurate these things are. If I can do my part. Very nice. I mean, dude, for killing squirrels or whatever, or little small game, perfect. Yep. And that's just standard velocity ammo too. I'm that's not even match grade stuff. Grain. Sniper subs. Yeah, I want to try those. I haven't shot the 60 grain sniper subsonics in these particular handguns yet. It, it's always weird. Like I've got some guns that that thing will stabilize in. Is this a 60 grain? <laughs> it's a 60 grain lead projectile on a 22 short case, but it's the same length as a uh, 22 long rifle. <laughs> I get my Vanna White. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so this is the Aguila or Aguila. Uh, is this the subsonic stuff or the standard velocity? Subs. Subs? All right, let's You're still running these subs. Up. All right, I'm going to aim for the... Eh, I'll aim below the bolt there and see if I can shoot the same target. Ooh, those are nice and quiet. All right. Let me shoot another one around... Around those, are those. Subs. yeah, 60 grain yeah. subs. Let me shoot these in the dirt so you can hear how quiet this particular can is. It does have a really nice tone to it. Like I said, a little bit of first round pop. I don't know what that is if it's watermelon remnants down there or something. Ah! <laughs> yeah. You can't tell, I love shooting 22s. All right, let's see, let's take a few longer shots here. We have a popper back there about 30 yards away. Just to the dang right of him. I mean, he's in there. All 60 right. 60 grain sniper subsonics. Let's try these and I'll shoot Eric's gun a little bit. You sure you don't want to shoot your gun? Yeah, you go ahead, man. All right, let's they see. They get the point. All right. I'm just gonna, I'll aim for this target over here to the left, or the, well, D28 on the right, but the left target and see. <laughs> Those things are so smoky. All right, let's see. Shoot a few in the dirt too. I will. Accurate. <laughs> what was that? I must have hit the bolt and they ricocheted off and hit a soda bottle. <laughs> uh, I would say that those are uh, not exactly stable in this barrel, but up close. Stable quiet. enough. Real Very quiet. quiet. All right. Down the dirt, like right here. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this stuff stinks. All right, that's 45 grain lead uh, suppressor ammo, CCI. Okay. Aguila does make a lot of really random stuff. They do make some interesting ammo for sure. All right, let's try this and just I'll group it onto the plate. Uh, I'll group it on this, that D28, but I'm gonna hold it near the bottom. Bullseye at the bottom of the target. It's real scientific. Oh, let's group this gun, all right. <laughs> We're just a bunch of unwashed commoners. <laughs> she, this stuff she's pretty good. All right, that one's getting hot. I'm gonna switch over. All right, let's try out Eric's. Now this one has a uh, all titanium KG made swarm on it. It's the same can that we did the uh, 22 meltdown on a little while back. Kind of burned the can down at the same time we burned down the 22 upper. Not that exact can. Not the exact can. That exact can has a little bit more coloration to it nowadays, but all right, let me shoot this one. I haven't really shot this gun very much, Eric, but this is definitely one on my want list. It's real accurate, man. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, D28 over here on the far left. And this one's hitting left, so I'm gonna aim. Yeah, just aim on the right of the plate. Yeah, I'm gonna aim up there near the shoulder. Very quiet. Ah, pfft. That was probably me. Very accurate. Uh oh. That didn't lock Sometimes, to the rear. Yeah, it didn't lock to the that didn't lock rear. To the rear. The yep. And what was that ammo? Um, that was the, the CCI. The one you just shot, that was the CCI suppressor uh, 45 grain ammo. Man. That is the Aguila competition target okay. ammo, 40 grain. Ah, I haven't tried any of this stuff through a yeah. handgun yet. Try it out. And then next I'm gonna give you some bulk pack. Bulk pack, auto match, baby. All right, let's Tried see. Tried and true, boy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna aim a little bit lower on the plate, right there where that, uh, I've got a little impact I can aim at here. Yeah, buddy. Huh. That stuff isn't quite as accurate as I would like it to be. Let's try again. This is kind of, we're like literally just bringing you guys along for the ride. We were gonna do this anyways, just test out a bunch of ammo through these guns, just have a little bit of fun with them, so. Or I should say, I'm doing all the testing, I suppose. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try a little bit closer range here at this uh, 10 inch plate up front. Yeah, hmm, weaker stuff is not locking this big slide to the rear. Yep. Hey, Ram oil some. to the rescue. Let's see. See if a little oil in there will help out some. All right, we got Federal Auto Match. Two mags of that. And you want to try the CCI standard? I guess would probably be a good benchmark. I was shooting that early on. Uh, load me up a little bit of that. Um, Where is the... Let's see, you've already ran the 40 grain uh, subsonic. You've ran the suppressor 45 grainer. You ran the sniper subsonic. You ran the competition. We run some uh, of the super extra yet? We any super extra. Yeah, let me have some of the super right, extra. we get super extra. All right, so Auto Match. Right. And then that'll be it. That's all the ammo. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to uh, take these things apart. It's pretty interesting. That definitely has enough oomph to uh, lock it to the rear. That's auto match? Yeah, that's auto match. Let me try some auto match out of the uh, 422. All right. When one gets, when one gun gets too hot, check out the other one. Oh my God! I have two guns. One <laughs> fall to each of you. <laughs> Ooh! Definitely a little first round pop. Oh, this I'm aiming over to the right. I forgot this one. I have to aim low. That's auto match. That's auto match. Shoot, man. I don't know. Not bad. That auto match is pretty good. I'm gonna load up a few more rounds. All right, there's quick. your super extra. 
And that Super Extra is Ely Prime 40 grain. I think that All is... All these are lead solids, yeah. by the way, we've been shooting. Oh yeah, I got some lead wipes in the truck too for after this mess. Woo. Um, I think the Super Extra is kind of like Aguila's um, CCI standard. It's like 1070, give or take, that sort of thing. But guns are performing very well. Cans are doing well. Yeah. Oh man, just love it. I will never pass up an opportunity to shoot some 22s. And yeah, we thought we'd show these guns off to you guys anyways, because you know we were talking about them in that top five sleeper video. So for what those things cost, you'd be dumb not to buy every one you find. Yep, I know. All right, let's see. Let's try some headshots back here. <laughs> right over the top of it. Dang, this thing shoots high. Plenty acceptable for bulk pack ammo. Exceptional, yep. Let's see, and this is super extra. Sometimes sometimes some of the uh, Aguila offerings, uh, like the super extra and the sniper, or not the sniper subsonic, but the subsonic specific rounds, um, I've had a little bit of a hard time getting them to run out of certain guns, but man, this thing, so far, it has eaten every single round that I've put in it. And I don't know why, um, I don't know why that Eric's gun I don't know why his is having a little bit of trouble with the slide lock into the rear. Might just need a good, proper cleaning. It's had a lot of rounds through it. It has. It'd just be dirty. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get these poppers down here real quick. Actually, I haven't grouped these. Let's just see what they'll do. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna aim for my group over here on the right, that big old cluster, and probably print right above it. Bye. I think she's getting dirty. Boop. Failure to extract. That was weird. Huh. Huh. Not liking that one. That's yeah, strange. Let's try it one more time. <sighs> Help uh, try it out of my gun. Oh, actually, yeah, I will. We had nice clouds covering us this morning. Now the sun popped out. It's supposed to be fall right now. What happened? What happened, Georgia? You're in the south, man. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> Trying to find a clean target. Aim, aim to the right of that one that printed in the center there. Look, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna aim, yeah, just right there. Weird. That gun's pretty accurate. It's reliable, for sure, but that, that particular ammo is uh, running all over the place a little bit. What was shooting the best? Pretty much, uh, I think uh, out of all these rounds, the ones that were shooting the best were the subsonic solid points mm -hmm. and the bolt pack, hmm. oddly right. enough. Well, I guess I'll just run auto match out of it. The, the cool thing about the auto match is out of the shorter barrels, it, it's supersonic ammo. It's supposed to run like 1250 or so. But uh, out of the short barrels on handguns and stuff like that, it'll stay subsonic. So it stays nice and quiet without breaking the sound barrier, making that crack down range. Um, I'm gonna shoot a little bit of the CCI quiets real quick. I know they won't cycle, but every time I'm running a 22 handgun, I always like to shoot some quiets out of it just because they're literally like giggle quiet. I mean, this is I think, what, 750 feet per second or so, 710. And that's probably, that's out of like a 16 inch barrel. Definitely running sub 700 feet per second out of these. So let's just try. I'm going to aim for a uh, sodi pop, or what's left of them, I guess. <laughs> oh, I tried to get it out of there. Oh, no. Dang, man. This thing, this thing almost cycles them. Ooh. You might could put some light springs <laughs> in it. Yeah. We might be able to lighten that spring up a little bit. You hear that round bouncing off of the soda down there? Hey, listen to this. Oh no! 40 grain subs there. All right, I'll probably, it's probably the last I'll shoot. Okay. Oh, that one still had some soda in it. 
<laughs> oh my Looney goodness. Tunes quiet. Oh my gosh, so much fun. All right, so look, check it out. Uh, spent 22 case. To pull this thing apart, there's um, a little rod in here that houses the recoil assembly and everything, the recoil spring. You basically drop a 22 case on there, like such. Close this against the frame here. Push the slide forward just slightly, and then this little key comes out. And then you can take this out of there, get your 22 case out of the way. Let's see if I can get this right. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Get that 22 case out of the way, and then you can pull your slide assembly and everything out of there once you get the recoil assembly out. Slide will just pop right off, and there's Super the- Super clever design. It's awesome, but there's your slide assembly, and then this is just housing for the recoil spring and guide rod, and then you've got your barrel down low. It's just such a neat design. And like we said in the in the video before, a lot of people didn't even know these things existed. And uh, I've seen them floating around here and there, and I've seen guys use them as suppressor hose, but I never found one for sale, and I actually bought this one from a buddy of mine. And uh, just awesome little gun. Just very, very clever design, like Eric said, and just, just a killer little suppressor hose. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This quick look at the 422. And the uh, 622 over here, just having just having a little bit of fun at the range with some 22s, being quiet. So let me get this thing back together real quick. So reverse the procedure. Use your 22 case to house that rod. And you line everything up. Drop your key back in place. It only goes in one way. And pull your slide back. Drop your case out of there, and then back in business. Easy to take care of, easy to clean. Magazine release right there on the front, kind of a semi-traditional mag release point, but awesome little guns. Want to give a special uh, thanks and shout out to our Patreon supporters and uh, those of you who purchase man cans, you guys really keep us going. Without uh, you guys helping out with uh, the support of this channel, we would not be able to do what we do and provide the content for you. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned, much more on the way. Take care.